So welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up and use the new feature called Heading on the Ease of Use system. This is a Next Gen 306 with both Ease of Use packages on, Ease of Use Indicate and Ease of Use eFence. But we're going to be looking particularly at the heading. So from first production of Ease of Use, our heading was set right in front of us and you couldn't move that heading. As you can see, the linkage in front of the machine, and if you look at the diagram here, you'll see that green triangle is straight out in front of me. So, if we want to work over the side of the machine, we weren't able to do that. But now with heading, we can. So I'm going to hit the shortcut, go into Indicate, go into Heading Bench, and I'm going to move that heading from the front of the machine to 90 degrees over the side. Because once I get it over the side, I can then work over the side of the machine and track my machine parallel to my trench or my embankment or whatever I'm trying to do. So now that I'm over there, I'm just going to tag it. So now you'll see that green triangle is now gone over to the side. And so my heading is now on the side and I can see as soon as I get in the machine, I can see where the heading is set up. Now what I want to do is to continue to pull this 20 degree slope on here. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I know I've already measured it before and I've started it, so I'm just going to go ahead and dial 20 degrees, put it into my shortcut, so 20, there, and I'm going to put it in as a negative because I want it to come from the bottom of the ditch up towards the machine. So now you can see it says minus 20, I'm going to go ahead and enter that, and once I've entered that, I'm going to uh, hit my trigger so I've benched it and now on this first run I'm just going to go check it on some work I've already done because I'm going to continue and I come up at 20 degrees all the way up the slope. So now I can work parallel to my ditch or trench and I'm going to come along and as I'm starting to build up material but I will sort of reach down I use my teeth for the first pass and get my teeth on target and just move some material. I'm going to pull that on target all the way up and get rid of some of that loose material and then I'm going to do a clean pass once again going back down and you hear the tone I'm on target so now all I've got to do is pull that on green and continue developing my 20 degree slope so I'll just dump this material out on the side. Yeah, I'm going to build up material here as I go. Once again, first pass, one more time. Get my teeth on target. Pull out the bulk of the material. Move that over. Now I'm going to come back and uh, do a clean pass. And this is how you would use heading. Now you could do it the other way as well if this was an embankment on the side of the road. I could go in the opposite direction so I could come down from a, a slope above if you imagine. If I was coming down I could come back to the machine this way if I was doing the embankment on the side of the road or I can do a ditch and obviously you can set that degrees to what you want that slope to be and I'll just do a nice clean pass here for my last run. And I'm now going to leave you to carry on to do the rest of my trench here. For further information about heading on an ease of use system on a next gen machine from the 306 through to the 310.